Hello, my name is Dante Rene, and welcome to the Ten Room Bizarro YouTube page, where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film, Six Schwedin Off the Am. I believe roughly translated Six Swedes on the ALM. I originally thought it was the Alps, and um, but the German translation is Six Swedes on the ALM. This is the cover right here, and this is put out by Ascot Elite, uh, region-free German Blu-ray, uh, and this is part of the uh, Swede collection. If you uh, doing, th there's a group of films that deal with like six Swedish girls and their sexual adventures, and this is uh, one from 1983. And I also did one on this YouTube page, uh, Six Swedes on Campus, and there'll be uh, some more uh, finishing up the series. And uh, this is directed by Erwin C. Dietrich, 1983, Six Swedes on the ALM. Erwin C. Dietrich um, was known for producing a certain section of Jess Franco films, which uh, were also put out by Ascot Elite. And now on this interesting, on this film in particular though, it, it says written and directed by Michael Thomas. I believe that was an alias for Owen C. Dietrich, the same way Franco would use different names, pseudonyms, but I'm not exactly 100% positive on that one. Um, but I believe I read something about that. So curiously enough, sometimes his name was there, sometimes his name wasn't there. Now, um, this is uh, 1983. This is the back. I can only do it briefly there. I don't want to. I can't get too close in there. And um, 1983. Here it is, and uh, it looks right there like it uh, has an 18 uh, because it's uh, rated by ages. Um, these German Blu-rays, and I got this off DiabolicDVD.com, uh, which tends to be the only place I can really get these at a at a more reasonable price than Amazon. So let's go into this film here. Essentially, we have a six Swedish girls and they are in some ways uh, looking to get uh, an inheritance uh, from the death of somebody from their campus I believe the 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 head of the campus um, which kind of ties into the to the the other film six Swedes on campus and there's more on that soon so stay tuned um, so they they go away they travel um, and they should be getting a sum of money of sorts, and they want to use this money to have fun. And uh, it really looks like the Swiss Alps, you know, even on the on the cover here. And I believe it is. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the ALM is, so if anybody has any uh, insight into that, interesting. Um, but I have heard in some circles it's it's called Six Swedes on the Alps. So they go there, and um, they meet with a lawyer and such and so forth, and you're and they have some adventures there. They have some adventures in their transportation there. They have some adventures once they discover their lack of money. They have some adventures once they discover there might be money. They have some adventures involving a variety of small town folk that they are encountering. And these six Swedish girls um, have a view of sexuality that is young, wild, free and um fun and uh and quirky a bit as well and 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 very sensual and erotic and 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 intense in that eroticism so these six swedish girls it's their adventures let's get into this movie first and foremost we have um I'm, I'm going to start off with actually the environment. Uh, the environment for this film is quite spectacular. We have, as you can see on the cover here, these snow-covered uh, mountains. But right here in the in the forefront, I don't believe these are legs for many of the girls in the film. Um, this beautiful greenery, and it, it you know you can sense that you are being transported to another land, to a, a to another country. And if you're not from this area. This will really be a spectacular experience for you as you see the hillsides and the beautiful uh, small town folk and small town cottages and inns. And as you see um, the, 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 the small bodies of water throughout and the trees and the greenery and the skies, the blue skies, it's really something spectacular. Even the sounds from the area are spectacular. Now, something that is really 
a character in this film is the atmosphere, is the location. When they were on, when the there was a film, The Six Suites on Campus, this was a campus and the the greenery and the beautiful lush areas around, whereas this is a completely different experience that involves transportation and also involves what some would view as a very, very small town out in the mountains. And it has that small town vibe, um, but in a foreign aspect, not in an American aspect, in a European aspect. And, and, and you feel that and you hear that. We have these very real cottages or inns and the townsfolk. And um, we have, uh, you know, kind of uh, garb, uh, you know, uh, different clothing from these town folk, And you can kind of smell the, the fireplaces and, 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 and get a sense of the, you know, the, the step ladders in the house and the, and the places where they cook and how they cook, and, and where the bathtubs are, and, so, you know, all of that. The music in this film is also done by a uh, someone who worked a lot with Erwin C. Dietrich, and someone who worked a lot with uh, Jess Franco. It's uh, the, the same as uh, Walter Baumgartner. And, um, interestingly enough, the uncle of the director of photography, Peter Baumgartner. The music in this film um, is... Uh, is really awesome. Um, it's it's uh, it's it's very very wild. Um, we have jazz, we have disco, we have electric guitar within the jazz and the disco. Uh, we even have yodeling. You know, the beginning of the movie really gives you a sense that you're going to a foreign land with these six Swedish girls, and the yodeling, and even the sound of these trumpets or horns throughout the film will really give you that that atmosphere and that aura um, audibly um, jovial mountain music um, the, you know the, it's hard to describe that I mean is it like George Romero's Night Riders and that eh, kinda but it's very very jovial it's very very fun mountain music this you know when it's when it is that mountain sounding music something that could be heard in a town um, not so much Wicker Man, maybe a little bit, um, almost sounds a little bit like it could be in a Benny, you know, uh, Benny Hill, uh, show, um, but it's like music that you would never normally hear in this type of film, in this, uh, erotic sexploitation, um, film. You would never have that kind of music, especially during the sex scenes and, and, and people running around naked and 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 all, and people chasing other you know chasing women and all of this so the music is kind of very that when when the when that jovial music is playing it's 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 very bizarre to hear it during sex scenes and things like that now the jazz disco electric guitar which which there's a piece of music that seems to run throughout the film predominantly through sex scenes um that really has a sexy almost uh, porno vibe to it that is um also mysterious in, in aura and um the best of the best electronic um uh just pumping thumping um bassy and uh and interesting so awesome awesome music now when we look at the the cinematography for this film and the style and direction of this film. I mean, essentially, we have a erotic adult sexploitation film um, that verges, uh, you know, in this in this in this world um, between hardcore and softcore. It's kind of in the middle of that a little bit, and um, more hard than the Six Weeds on a Campus. And we have in this world of a film we have a lot of style we have daydreams uh in the film um that i'm going to go into a little bit more but we have the layering of image images there's this one section of this montage of layering of imagery uh very very distant shots of people walking from very far away very far away the opening sequence is um very, very interesting. Uh, you're seeing the six Swedish girls one at a time posing as if for a magazine and staring directly at you. 
and posing with different things in this foreign territory, uh, whether it be a horn or a pole or a post. Um, and so they're posing and modeling naked and staring right at you in this title sequence with the yodeling music, if you can even picture that. Um, so there is a beautiful, beautiful picturesque cinematography of animals and flowers and, 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 uh, and green hills and mountains and cottages and inns and town squares. It's all here. It's beautiful, beautiful cinematography. Um, this film has some very interesting things because the way the story comes out, I mean, we, we, we have humor in here, or what's played is humor, but we have this strange world of humor meeting adult erotica, uh, meeting a, a teen sex comedy vibe in a way, okay, meeting a bit of art house, okay, and the way things are brought about in the film is very unique and jovial. I mean, essentially, you have a sex film here, uh, but we have a dog that's carrying messages. We have men that are daydreaming, and their daydreams can even involve pe their penises and vegetables or licking sticks and leaves in the shapes of vaginas. Um, daydreams and sexual fantasies and the differences between men and women and the hypocrisies of that and, and the hypocrisies in, within marriage and the way um, women might be on the same um, uh, level playing field as men when it comes to lust or sexual fantasies. And in terms of the sexuality of this film, it, like I said before, it's really between hardcore and softcore where we do have um, the girls right up and close and personal actually masturbating, um, using their hands, their fingers, um, not going inside, but masturbating on the outside and even um, licking 69ing and they're actually licking um, vaginas. Um, there is oral sex uh, towards the men, but it's covered. It's like they're putting their hands like this. And so they're not actually, don't actually see it happening. Um, but we have nudity, full nudity throughout the entire film, minus sneakers a lot of the time. And the girls, uh, lots of lesbianism, lots of uh, heterosexual stuff. Very erotic, very sensual, very get your blood boiling type of stuff. The girls are all sexually attractive and attractive in different ways. Some have short hair, some have long hair. There's definitely Swedish girls, but one in particular is a brunette who almost looks not Swedish. And she seems very interestingly awkward in the film and almost a little bit uncomfortable. She's smiling. She's looking at other people. It's very interesting. We have Eric Falk in here, who is somebody that uh, has been in lots of Erwin C. Dietrich, lots of Jess Franco during the Dietrich period. Um, he's he's pretty hilarious in this film. We do have penises in this film, lots of them. Um, and uh, it's a very, very sexually charged film. And it's a beautiful, sunny, warm film as well. Um, and there's really no peril in the film um, in terms of violence and things like that. Um, but we do have um, kind of rape in a way, uh, but it's reciprocated rather quickly. Um, so uh, this is a film that really deals with a lot of interesting things. We even have uh, rabbits watching uh, sexual activity and lots of animals in the film not not sexually just animals um, being photographed and animals as part of the plot of the film like to deliver messages through the small town and things like that um, and women playing the seducers and 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 women tiring men out and men needing other men to help them out with all these women and it's interesting the, the whole perspective of Swedish women in this film being very wild sexually charged beasts this is free this is wild this is sexual and uh there is uh, no uh no shame at all this is a wild wild sexually charged film and this is uh six swedes on the alm 1983 erwin c dietrich as part of the ascot elite uh, german region free blu-ray collection thank you so much for watching the 10 room bizarro youtube page where i talk about films that i believe need to be talked about more like this one